All right. So I figured I would share this because this is something really different today on the dyno. Uh, this is, well, it's not different because it's 350, or yeah, 350Z, but it is different because of what we're doing with this. So this car is a record setting car. This is the uh, fastest stock, well, I'm in stock NA 350Z here. Uh, this thing really rips. And the cool thing that we're doing today is we're actually switching fuel types. So he set the record. I can't remember exactly what he was. I'll try and find that information. But uh, he set the record with this car on C85. So he decided to step it up a notch and threw some M5 in it. And we just retuned it on M5. We had to upgrade the fuel system and everything to do that. But wow. insane look at this power to the wheels 332 so for those of you who don't know this dyno reads kind of low and a stock 350z will put down like 215 210 so we're <laughs> we're making over a hundred horsepower over stock and it's still na so this is a fantastic setup we're using up rev to tune with and and all the good stuff but stay tuned i want to see what his new numbers are going to be at the track because this thing is probably going to set the record again uh really excited to see what that entails but man what a machine and it's you know got the typical record setter mods you can see here uh no interior super light car fuel cell in the back got that sweet the cooler work shifter really nice there's a lot of good stuff going on here for racing and a very very clean car all around we got bumper cutouts on the back for extra power you know 10 10 10 10 10 10 so you know it starts to add up stay tuned more records to come this thing is sick <laughs> everybody so we've got a little something different now i want to show everyone we're going to take a little break from the bikes take a little break from uh from work it's friday it's after work we're gonna we're gonna do something on our own car but this is a car you haven't seen on the channel yet uh i got it not too long ago and i really haven't decided how we're going to attack this and what we're going to do but without further ado i'll show you what we're working with and what i've decided to do so this is our 2007 Porsche Cayman. This is a base 27, so we're not looking for like big power or anything, but I thought this would be a great little project because these cars, in my opinion, are becoming the next really good affordable track car. These cars are finally sinking down into the low 20s. You can pick up one of these cars in relatively decent condition uh, for essentially the same price as a a used Nissan or anything you know that's comparable sports car wise so a really cool car awesome balance mid-engine rear wheel drive and really light these are only about 2800 pounds so overall just a fantastic driving car Porsche has always been on my radar and now I get to actually do a little something uh, this one's got heavy miles it's, a, it's it had a lot of little problems so I picked it up kind of cheap and uh, fixed all the problems on it, got it to zero, and now we're gonna have some fun. So the first thing we're gonna do on this bad boy is get rid of that stock exhaust, because to me, that's like A1. You get one of these cars that gotta sound right. And from the factory, you can't really hear it. It's not that loud. So obviously, we gotta put something on there that's gonna open it up. The factory exhaust, we'll get it up on the lift and I'll show you. The factory exhaust has four cats, Jesus. And uh, a, a fairly restrictive system where both sides kind of merge into one at a T. Uh, anyway, I'll show you when we get it up in the air. 
And uh, I picked up an exhaust system. A little circuit works. We're not gonna break the bank with one of these. This is under a thousand bucks and you're gonna have hopefully a really nice sound. Let's see what we can get out of it. Let's get this thing up in the air and start to take this exhaust off. Okay, up on the lift here, we can see what we've got for exhaust. See two big chambers that come together here in the middle with this T and the exhaust just rams itself into each other. Great for noise abatement, terrible for power. Catalytic converters in each end here of this big muffler and then catalytic converters as well on each header. And we're not gonna be replacing those today, but we are going to replace, be replacing it from the header back. So this uh, area back here is all gonna go away. So let's get that going. I'm gonna spray that down, see if we can remove that without too much drama and uh, get the new system out. The exhaust out right there. Now we got the new exhaust that we are going to take out of the box right here. Very nice, it's all stainless. Looks super, super nice. We'll get it out of this nice packaging uh, and assemble it and get it on the back of the car. Whew. That was actually a little more work than I expected because all the studs were rusted. We had to break them all, but we're on track. Let's go ahead and get this out and on. So here you can see we've got the new exhaust on, new bolts, new nuts, the whole thing, and it fits pretty nice. I can deal with this. So let's go ahead, get it down, take it for a ride, see what it sounds like. I'm excited. That looks nice. So that's pretty much the sound you can hear. It's a it's a noticeable increase in volume. I don't think it changed like tone or anything so much, but it definitely is a lot louder. You can really hear it. Uh, I can't wait to hear it on wide open. I drove it home just kind of softly, made sure there's no leaks, made sure it wasn't melting anything, doing anything crazy. And I also didn't like the way those uh, the, the the tips were, so, so I flipped them around just so that they still had some heat shielding. And I think actually it kind of looks cool. It's a little different looking, whatever. Anyway, uh, let's take it for a ride. We're going to take it up the road now. I'm going to beat it in a little bit so that the uh, mufflers break in some. And I think they'll increase in, in tone a little bit. We'll get a little more sound out of it. But a oh, quick walk around. You guys haven't seen this car, so I'm really going to dive a little for you. What a great little car. I still can't get over how affordable these cars have become considering, you know, that they're, they're a real Porsche. This is not like a, this is not like a, a very cheap car to begin with, but this is a really decent example. It's got a lot of miles on it, like 162,000 miles on this bad boy, but everything's there and everything works. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do some stuff to it. Either way, we'll go for a ride now just to get the full experience here and see what this exhaust really does. tell me what you guys think does that sound good i like it it's not overbearingly loud but it is there it is a 
unmistakable sound. The flat sixes of the Porsches all have that beautiful sound when you get the exhaust right, and this one has it now. So I'm super happy about that. Hopefully you guys are uh, as excited as I am for this project. We're gonna be doing some more small projects, small things to it. I'm not gonna go too crazy. Maybe a set of headers. Maybe, uh, well, we're gonna do some improvement on what's already there. I've already uh, ordered some shifter bushings and things like that just to, to make it nice. Maybe we'll throw uh, a nice set of wheels on it. Who knows? Let's. Let's just see what this thing evolves into. But for now, I'm just going to enjoy it as it is. And hopefully you guys will too. And I will see you in the next one. P-Car, baby.